Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. First things first, what is the EVAP system? EVAP stands for Evaporative Emission Control System. Its main job is to prevent gasoline vapors from your fuel tank from escaping into the atmosphere. Think of it as a sealed system that traps these harmful vapors and then channels them back into the engine to be burned off cleanly. This is great for the environment and also ensures your car runs efficiently. When your car's computer detects a very small leak somewhere in this sealed system, it triggers the PO442 code and turns on that lovely check engine light. So, what are the symptoms you might notice besides the check engine light? Well, honestly, for a small leak like this, you might not notice anything different in how your car drives. The most common symptom, if you experience one at all, is a faint smell of gasoline around your car especially after you've parked it in a garage or enclosed space. You won't see a drop in fuel economy or performance issues with a PO442 code. It's primarily an emissions-related issue, but leaving it unfixed means you won't pass an emissions test. And that little check engine light can mask other, more serious problems that might pop up later. All right, let's play detective. Where could this small leak be coming from? The number one most common culprit. And the very first thing you should check is your gas cap. A loose, damaged, or incorrect gas cap is responsible for a huge percentage of PO442 codes. It's designed to create a perfect seal. If the o-ring is cracked, worn out, or if you just forgot to tighten it until it clicks, you've got yourself a leak. So, before you do anything else, go check your gas cap. Make sure it's the right one for your vehicle and tighten it properly. Clear the code and drive for a bit to see if it comes back. If the gas cap isn't the problem, we have to look a bit deeper. The next common suspects are the evap hoses and lines themselves. These are rubber or plastic hoses that run from the fuel tank to the engine bay. Over time, especially in harsh climates, these hoses can become brittle, crack, or develop tiny pinholes. A visual inspection is your best friend here. Look for any hoses that seem cracked, disconnected, or obviously damaged. You might need to trace the lines from the charcoal canister, which is often located near the fuel tank, all the way up to the front of the car. Now, let's talk about some of the components. The EVOP system has a few key parts that can fail. One is the purge valve, or purge solenoid. This valve's job is to open at specific times, to allow the stored fuel vapors to be drawn from the charcoal canister into the engine. If this valve gets stuck partially open, it creates a constant small leak. Similarly, you have the vent valve, which is normally open to allow air into the system, but closes when the system runs itself. If the vent valve doesn't seal properly, you guessed it, Pesetto Quattro Quattro Dos. Another major component is the charcoal canister. This is a box filled with activated charcoal that absorbs the fuel vapors from the tank. While the canister itself can crack and cause a leak, it is a bit less common for it to be the source of a small leak, but it's definitely possible especially if the vehicle has been in an accident or has underside damage. So, how do we fix it? As we said, start with the easiest and cheapest thing. The gas cap, inspect it, clean the seal, and make sure it clicks when you tighten it. If it looks old or worn, just replace it. They're inexpensive and it's a very common fix. If that doesn't solve it, a visual inspection of all the EVAP hoses is next. If you find a cracked hose, Replacing that section is usually a straightforward DIY job. If you've checked the cap and the hoses and the light is still on, you might be looking at a faulty valve or a canister. Testing the purge and vent valves can sometimes be done with a handheld vacuum pump or by applying voltage to see if they operate correctly. However, the most effective way to find a really tiny leak that you coo UNC is with a smoke test. A mechanic will pump a special, non-harmful smoke into the EVAP system. Wherever the smoke comes out, that's your leak. It's the fastest and most accurate way to pinpoint these frustratingly small leaks. To sum it all up, PO442 is a small leak in your EVAP system. Check your gas cap for stits the most likely cause, if not the cap. Inspect your EVAP hoses for cracks. Beyond that, you might have a faulty purge valve, vent valve, or even a cracked charcoal canister, which a smoke test can help you find. It's not a code that will leave you stranded, but it is important to fix four emissions and to keep your check engine light system ready for real emergencies. I hope this video helped to mystify the PO442 code for you. If you found this useful, please hit that like button.
and consider subscribing for more car care tips and tricks. Got a question or your own PO442 story? Drop it in the comments below. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.